We're excited to talk about some of the new things that are available on the S3. One of the biggest things that we've changed on this unit is that we've added the Schumacher Drive system. The Schumacher Drive is a major change for us because it's really reduced the complexity of the unit. We've taken all of the working mechanics from the back side and we've moved them to the front side. Because of this simplified system, we're using less power and the customers can expect to see a more consistent cut of their hay. The Super Slicer is available in two different models. The first one being a hydraulic version like what we're looking at here, and the second one is a PTO version. Typically with lower horsepower tractors, you also have lower flow. And so if that is a concern, stick with the PTO version. One of the major pains of dealing with feed during the winter time is finding a place to put your net wrap after you cut it off the bales. On the S3, we've added an optional storage box to allow a place that's not at your feet and not wrapped around the clutch pedal. It's now on the back of the machine where it belongs. You'll notice on the inside of the Super Slicer that we've added some teeth to the slats. These teeth allow for a firm grip on a bale and continuously feed it through the sickle. This allows a very consistent windrow coming out the back side of the machine. If you'd like to see this product out on your own farm, please don't hesitate to contact your dealer or call us here at Harper Industries and we'd be happy to help facilitate getting a unit for you to see for yourself.